Hey y'all, welcome back to my... I'm really waving. <laughs> To my channel it's your girl Kyra for today's video we're gonna be doing a chit chat get ready with me <laughs> ready with me chit chat get ready with me because <laughs> y'all love those videos and I love making these for you so I'm gonna probably have to give y'all one like once a week turn on that post notification bell to be notified every time your girl posts videos because you don't want to miss out on me because I don't want to miss out on you sis okay oh my god we are at 4,000 subscribers y'all I'm so geek like <laughs> I never thought anybody would watch me or I would be entertaining 4,000 people like and I hope all 4,000 even though that's like you know a small number I still fuck with all 4,000 of y'all I don't even care I just want y'all to fuck with me like I can I don't want to say I got 100,000 subscribers just to be saying I got 100,000 subscribers like I want to really genuinely fuck with my subscribers and I want them to fuck with me you know what I'm saying okay you already know you you know <laughs> so let's just get right into it okay. Okay. hey y'all welcome back to my channel it's your girl Kara. for today's video we're gonna be doing a chit chat get ready with me um it's been a minute since i actually sat down and did my makeup and talked to y'all y'all always love my chit chat so we about to talk it up today sis we finna talk it up <laughs> but um yeah don't mind these lash extensions they look like fucking spider fucking legs and they're looking crazy as fuck i'm so over long extensions i only got them because i went on a trip i went to atlanta and i wanted some long lashes and i had got them like done a week before and they turned out to be ugly i'm gonna just stay with my little natural short ones because <sighs> honey these is not working for your girl but anyways, we're just going to jump right into it. So, let's... Okay, so... I'm just going to talk... Um, I'm really not going to explain makeup or nothing like that. I'm just going to talk. So, um... So, recently, I just got back from a trip. I went to Atlanta. And I went to go visit my friend. As you can see, in the vlog yesterday... I posted it yesterday. I went to Atlanta just to get away and just to get motivated because my friend that lives out there she's an a successful makeup artist and she's been doing good things big things and you know i've been to atlanta like how many like that was my fourth time and i love atlanta i love the vibe i damn near want to move out there <laughs> like soon and um like all her friends that she hangs out with out there um they're doing big things too so i'm like i need to go out there i need to go get motivated because where i'm from like this state or whatever like you don't see a lot of like people doing big things like you don't see it on a daily basis like you're not around it to like feel it like and like to get inspired so i'm like you know i'm gonna fucking get the fuck out of here so that's what i did and i'm so happy i went on that trip like everybody is like looking at that vlog like oh my god like i want to know what um they they do or whatever because they just like i don't know they just doing like boss things and stuff like that <laughs> and as you can see in the vlog like um gina one of the girls she had paid for everybody's meal um in the um restaurant it was like seven hundred dollars and like that is just like damn like and, and that's nothing to you like that's nothing like to just spend all that money like <laughs> on some food for people and that was my first day meeting her and like you barely knew me and you offered to pay for my meal like I would um if I had if I had it like that I definitely would do it for people that I would I would know that would do it for me and I would definitely do that for her like just not meeting her and just going off her vibe um yeah i would definitely do shit like that for people that i know that would do shit for me but i don't know just being around that is just really motivating and yeah all of them are doing boss things like 
they have all this shit going on and I'm like damn like that could be me like <laughs> I need to go back home and get to work on YouTube and just get focused like I'm so focused right now I'm really just want to be so productive um I'm in a productive mindset right now and I just don't want to stop this shit like yesterday I just made 4,000 subscribers yay me um even though that doesn't seem like a big number but i feel like all those four thousand subscribers like really fuck with me like i don't want to just say i got like this many subscribers and none of them fuck with me like i got five thousand subscribers but i got 400 views like that's lame as fuck and i don't and they're barely in my comments like talking to me like i don't want to be like that i don't want my channel to be like that i want to really have a connection with my subscribers i really want to like you know grow with everybody that's watching me and i wanted just to motivate everybody and just to be a better person and have self-confidence because me everybody thinks i just have like self-confidence like just like that in a snap of fingers or something no for me to have self-confidence like it took a while like it took a long time for me to have self-confidence like i didn't just wake up one day and like oh i'm about to be a bad bitch like <laughs> slay like no it was never like that but yeah like i said um like being confident is not an overnight process like i just want people to love their self and find self-love within yourself because it does take a long time but uh, yeah i just want my channel to be super genuine and i want to be and I am 100% real. I'm not faking. Like, I'm not living a glitz and glamour life. Like, it, everything is not glitz and glamour. Like, <laughs> that Instagram shit y'all see is fake as fuck. Like, that shit is not real. Like, I want to be relatable to my subscribers. I don't want to be like, oh, I'm this bitch. Like, no. Oh, I didn't want that on my forehead. Being in Atlanta, like, really helped me get motivated because, like, and you are who you surround yourself around because, like, I had to really remove myself from a lot of people in my life because, um, they just didn't want nothing out of life and that's not wrong. Like, I grew up in a small city and the girls I was kicking it with, like, they didn't want to do shit. Like, they didn't want to do nothing. And I don't want to be around people like that. I don't want to be, like, I'm sorry. Like, I want to do shit. Like, I want to get inspired or motivated by my friend or whoever I'm around. Like, I don't want to just fucking go to the club every fucking weekend and know the latest gossip. Like, no, that shit is lame as fuck. And, no, I don't want to do that every and i'm not saying like i'm better than whoever feels that way that wants to do that that's fine you can do that but i'm not gonna do that i have um i'm put on this earth for a purpose and i want to fulfill that purpose i want to do what i need to do i don't want to waste my life away like i don't want to stay in this small ass fucking state like when everybody knows every fucking body like i don't want to stay here like, I'm so, like, ready to work and fucking do whatever I can to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> about to bake today because it's fucking hot. It's like 90 degrees out fucking side. I want to be relatable. I want y'all to grow with me. I want y'all to really fuck with me. Like, I don't want to say, like, gain all these subscribers and none of them, like, really fuck with me. Like, no. I want y'all to really fuck with me. Like, on a really like personal level i don't want y'all to be fake like don't subscribe to me if you don't like me or nothing like that but yeah i want all of my subscribers to be real i love communicating with y'all i literally reply to every comment like every comment like it ain't nobody that ever gets a response people write me on instagram and they be like oh i didn't think you would reply girl i'm always gonna reply like i'm not like that <laughs> but yeah like i was saying i did not wake up one day and was like oh i'm gonna be this badass bitch like everybody thinks that i am that i think that i am that i don't think that i am <laughs> if that makes sense but um 
yeah i'm um like this time last year like um <laughs> this time last year like i was so like unsure of myself i was literally like i was broken like honestly like i'm not even gonna lie i was broken like i didn't know like what the fuck i was gonna do like with my life i was in a situation where somebody was putting me down like every day like <laughs> who fucking cries on camera i did not think i was gonna do this <laughs> what the fuck i'm supposed to fix this shit <sighs> um But yeah, I didn't know I was gonna break down like that, sorry. But, um, mm. uh, I was in a situation when somebody was trying to bring me down every day. <clears throat> and be like, why, why can't you be like this? Like, or why can't you be like this? It's just like, damn, like, you don't like anything about me? Like, <clears throat> and I wanted to start a YouTube, like, last year, around this time. <clears throat> and I didn't. And I wasn't, like, I was just, like, not motivated. I was fucking gaining weight. I was, like, kind of depressed. And, um... why I'm crying right now I think it's just because um <clears throat> thinking about like everything that I had to overcome my makeup is fucked so I probably gotta I would restart my foundation but I'm not really going anywhere but um yeah I just got I don't know why I even I didn't even intend to get emotional like that but um i just overcame a lot of things like people don't really know what i go through um people don't really know what i go through um or they just see like a pretty face and just think i'm just overly confident and sometimes I'm just not. <laughs> I had to regroup. Like, I had to redo my whole fucking foundation. But yeah. So, I just overcame a lot. Um of things it's i just get emotional when i think about everything that i overcame it's not like i'm getting emotional i don't know it's just like i just like overcome a lot and i really just wasn't in the right state of mind last year yeah i wasn't in the right state of mind last year like like how i am this year like this year i'm really like well leading on to this year um I'm really just all about me and like my future and like YouTube like cuz I've been wanting to do YouTube for like the longest like this camera I'm recording on was I got it like a year ago and um, I just never fucking I waited a year to use it and I'm like you know what? it's 2018 like I'm not about to keep putting this off like this is really what I want to do so I need to just fucking do it and that's what I did focus right now like especially after this trip like I just want to inspire I want to create content I want to connect with my subscribers like y'all when y'all be like 
when y'all tell me y'all love like whatever I post I'll be like yes like when y'all comment like that makes my heart so fucking happy because it's like damn like I really thought nobody would watch my shit and, but now I have a 4,000 subscriber count and that's what's up and all of them fuck with me hopefully <laughs> well most of them do that I see most of most of them show love and I really appreciate that. I, I I see all the comments, like everything, like nothing bypasses me. I see it all. So I don't even care if I don't have a large following right now. Like as long as my subscribers fuck with me, like genuinely that little that little number is just means everything to me. So that's okay. These fucking lashes are fucking up. like whatever you want to do in your life that you just fucking just be like fuck it i'm just i'm just gonna fucking do it like i'm gonna do it like people ask me all the time like how did you like get into youtube like how did you um start making videos like i just like i just had to do it like i was just like i'm just about to do it like fuck it like i couldn't keep putting it off any longer like I would be wasting my life type shit if I would do that. Uh, I can't believe I got emotional. But yeah, I'm a sensitive person. I'm a Pisces. I'm sensitive. Comment down below if you're a Pisces too. But yeah. Um, yeah, overcoming battles is a fucking struggle. But once when you get out of it, it's just like, and then you look back at it like, damn, like when you're in it, you just like, damn, am I ever going to like overcome this? Or, or am I ever going to like be better in life? Or am I ever, is, is life still, is going to be this, the same way? Like in the next some years, like how, to, how can I change? Like how can I overcome this like and you want to like I ask God like what why the fuck is this happening to me like <clears throat> sometimes I feel like my like I love YouTube like I always wanted to do YouTube and all this shit was happening to me and I'm like damn maybe maybe like you know maybe my purpose is to like help girls overcome battles of what I went through or shit like that but I don't know but I'm just talking honestly but yeah do whatever you have to do to get focused like if you gotta go take a trip go take a trip like if you need to do you need to do whatever you need to do to get motivated so you can get to work if you don't work you don't fucking eat and never get discouraged like sometimes i do get discouraged i'm not even gonna lie i do get discouraged on youtube i'm like damn like Ugh, my numbers i'll be looking at the numbers but then i see all the comments and i'll be like okay they fucking with me but you gotta think about it like everybody gets discouraged or comes across a storm and not really know what the fuck is gonna fucking happen like look at kylie jenner like she's about to be a fucking billionaire but a lot of people was bashing her stuff in the beginning and i'm pretty sure she got discouraged but she never gave up like and i'm not about to give up on the shit because this is what i wanted to do for the fucking longest like even before like everybody started doing it like i was watching youtube for like fucking ever like do y'all know those 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 say candy like i was watching her when she was putting on like remember when like the fucking triangle scars was in i was watching her like she was like in this orange ass lighting <laughs> it was orange and um uh what the fuck no the first day when Aaliyah j came out with that story time it, it wasn't ugly she wasn't ugly but she wasn't me that first day i was watching it i remember i was in the back seat of my mama's car when we was on our way to chicago i think and i was watching that shit and i don't know why i just never started one until now but it's better late than never you know what i mean like i love making videos like i love like editing like i love learning new ways to edit and new like things to put in my videos like i studied it and stuff like that a lot of people ask me and they'll be like oh can you help me like edit my video but at the same time 
I'm doing all this research myself and like I'm taking my time out to help people but you have to be self driven like it's not easy to have self drive like you have to be like born with it or you have to like fucking you have to want it like you gotta want it like I want this shit bad as fuck Ooh, this came out nice. And don't get discouraged. Like, just keep fucking going. Just keep going. Just keep pushing. It's always a light at the end of the tunnel. Even though I may not um, have 100,000 subscribers or even 20K subscribers, I have subscribers and I'm not fucking stopping at all. I'm not there yet, but I'm gonna get there. So, if you want to make a YouTube channel, go ahead and make a fucking YouTube channel. Everybody fucking doing that shit. But is everybody being consistent? Is everybody putting their all into it? Like, just because everybody's doing it don't mean it's done right. You know what I'm saying? But hair boutiques, like, boutiques are all out here, whatever. That's fine. They all have the same um, products, but are they all marketing it the same like no is one being marketed better than the other one is am i gonna feel like i want to buy from this person rather than this person it's all about like the time and effort and what you put into what you want to sell what you want to do like it's all about time and effort and it's a it's not an overnight process you gotta want it for yourself like it took me a long time to have self-drive like the past two years i was not motivated at all i was like just fucking going through in Atlanta I was around successful people so that just made me want to just go hard like you'll see the shit on Instagram or whatever but I mean I love the Claremont twins <laughs> but they just went to jail for fraud like y'all being fraud and y'all acting like y'all just have all this fucking money but you gotta fucking swipe a card in a dead man's lane like no <laughs> like getting motivation from instagram is not um real because all that shit is fake oh my lid what is this no uh -uh. i'm tripping what the fuck hell i just fucking cried on camera that's a fucking embarrassing <laughs> please don't fucking judge me like it's not even like that. It's just a girl been through it. <laughs> so yeah, I just popped on my lashes. I'm right on top of my extensions. Being able to do what I want to do when I want to do it um, is what matters the most to me right now. Being able, being able to do what I want to do, how I want to do it, when I want to do it is what matters most to me right now i don't care about no relationship nothing like where i'm going is my only focus this year and i mean if i meet somebody that's cool but if i don't like i don't care i'm not pressed over it like i don't need no nigga and you don't either <laughs> and what's so funny is my, my, my uber driver that was taking me to the airport he was from Wisconsin and he's been in Atlanta for like 15 years and he was like yeah Atlanta just a different vibe like and I'm like yes exactly you understand you understand I don't understand no <laughs> yeah girl just do what you got to do to get motivated get started today on what you want to focus on and where you want your life to go don't let anything or anybody fucking distract you like you fucking got this no, but for real though. Because sometimes, like, some people just don't have friends or, like, associates to help them. Like, they have that, probably that friend that want to always go out or whatever. But they don't have somebody to be there to be like, yeah, bitch, hurry up, do that, do that, do this. Like, you got this, friend, you got this. Like, and I didn't have that for a long time. And I'm just, like, depending on my little relationship I had and then my mom but I mean like your mom wants what's best for you and your mom is gonna help you like be like yeah go, yeah do that do that but I don't know it's what you really surround yourself by if that makes sense
all right and i just you know to my hair or what it is or whatever so i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i hope you get something from this video i'm so emotional i'm so sorry but and y'all already know i'm fuck with y'all because y'all my crew i don't i want to say bitches y'all my bitches y'all my bitches i fucking love y'all okay